Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue to implement the PayPal in our app. So after we start the service of PayPal, you should now implement the on-click listener for our PayPal button. So write something like PayPal PTN dot set on a click listener. So on a click listener, you should define the following. The first thing is var, for example, payment equal PayPal payment. The PayPal payment, which is this one, PayPal payment, it is the class responsible for the PayPal payment process. So you need to take a value of the payment variable or the amount variable. You remember this variable, which is amount. This amount should be assigned to our text view. So at first, amount equal total TV dot text, okay, dot to dot text, sorry, dot to string, then to double. Yes, like this. Now, this variable should be assigned here, which is the variable amount. But this variable should be converted into big decimal because PayPal need it as a big decimal. So you should write something like big decimal, okay, dot value of, and in the value of, assign the variable amount. This is the first parameter. This one is the first parameter, which is big decimal dot value of and give it amount. The second one is the currency, the currency you need. Maybe it is USD dollar or euro or whatever. The last one, title for your activity. So you can give it, for example, Udemy. No, it should be in double quotation, Udemy. For example, sales app. This is the third parameter. The last parameter is payment or PayPal payment. PayPal payment dot payment intent cell. Okay, so this class PayPal payment is responsible for the process of payment using the payment object. Now, this object you have created now you should assign another intent for example var let's call it intent for example equal intent from the current activity to something called payment activity from where we got this payment activity it is inside the PayPal SDK after you have created this one now intent dot boot extra and sh you should pass the first parameter as paypal paypal service this one paypal service dot extra paypal configuration and assign the object of configuration the object of config which you have created in the previous video the second step is intent dot boot extra and here you should assign something called payment activity payment activity dot payment activity okay dot extra payment yeah this one and assign the object payment to it so you need two steps for this intent or the payment activity. The first one, the configuration object, which have been created in the previous video, and the payment object, which is responsible for the payment process. Now, after all this, you need something like start activity intent. Now everything is ready to start collecting money from PayPal. But how can you know if the user click OK or cancel 
after the PayPal activity shown to the user. So you can instead of using start activity, you can use start activity for result, which means start the payment activity and wait to get result from the user if the user click accept to pay or it cancel this process. So you can pass any code, for example, one, two, three. Now, how can we know if the user click OK or not? Here, you can call this overridden method on activity result, on activity result to get the result back from the user. So on this activity, we can write something like if request code equal one, two, three, from where we get one, two, three, it is this one, you can write any number, it is just code between you and PayPal, then if result code equal activity, where is the class activity, activity, yes, this one, dot result, okay, which means if the user accept to pay, okay, in this case, we are going to create an intent, for example, var obj equal intent to move the user from this activity, for example, to, for example, what you can call mm, confirm ACT, for example, confirm ACT, okay, with something like this, for example, class and Java. Copy, paste, then start activity obj, start activity obj. But this confirm ACT, it's not here, so you can create this one, copy, it's not created yet. So just right click, new activity, and call this activity as, for example, confirm ACT. Okay, let's back to our total. So if everything is okay, the application will redirect you to this activity, which is called confirm activity. We don't need to put anything inside this, except just text view, for example, for the text. We can add here for text, okay, and we can write any statement inside text, for example, thank you for using our service, for example, anything, okay, and of course, this is the text view, of course, you can enlarge the text size from 14, for example, till 20. Okay, so now let's try this app. Okay. Okay, let's try this example. 30600123456. Login. Let's add anything, for example, sandwich. Let's add this sandwich with three quantity, add, yeah, let's confirm this order, yeah, it gives it as the total, 7.11, let's click on PayPal, yeah, it move as to the PayPal activity, so you can just try the PayPal, okay, you can now log in with any sandbox account, for example, this is just symbol account for testing let's click on login it will take some time to check with the PayPal service okay now just confirm your PayPal payment thank you for using our service yes that's good so our project is completed and thank you so much for watching this course. I hope to see you in next course. Okay, see you again.